is up guys, Jersey Bolts here. Here with Alexa. Guys, my last week of sparring is this week, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a random video out. Today's video is going to be 23 food facts that are totally and undeniably true. I haven't taken a look at this list. I took a look at the first one, and I was like, that has to be true. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this video. Go ahead and do it with Alexa. We're gonna go through them, and uh, I guess say if they're true or false, and give our opinion on them, I guess. I don't know. All right, so the first one, cereal tastes better at night. I have to agree with this one because, I mean, you're not human if you don't go out in the middle of the night and go get cereal, you know? I mean, I do it all the time. I, I, even, I do it today. Yeah, I have to agree with that one. Cereal does taste better at night. I mean, I mean when you wake up in the morning, you're still like, uh, like a zombie and you, you try to eat the cereal. And I mean, you enjoy it, but not as much as at night, you know? I mean, that one, I, I, that one is true. That one is very, very true. Second one. Recess are always better in tree or egg form. Like in the holidays, that, I don't know why, but it is true. If, if for all my recess lovers, I don't know if it's as true for you, but I, I try re on a normal daily basis, I never get recess. I'll, I, won't even, I, won't, I won't mess with that. Yeah, I won't. But then like when my little brother or sister come home with bags of candy, or if I go to the store and I see like the little egg, or I see the Christmas tree, or I see like the pumpkin recess, that you, you'll never just, no? <laughs> I don't know. To me, that that's true. Is it true to you or no? Yeah. So that one to me is true. Third one. <laughs> Mini M and M's are better than normal size. Now that one, I mean. As a chocolate lover. That's I would die for chocolate. Yeah, that's true. I'm not. I mean, I'm not that much big of a fan of a cho of chocolate. I mean, I'll, I'll eat it every once in a while, but it's not I love chocolate. Not something I'll go look for, you know. Mini M and M's are better than normal size. Mm. I would have to agree on that one. Really? Yeah, cause they like it's like a dance party in your mouth. What? Would that be inappropriate? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're trying to input there, but I guess. I mean, she says it's true. I guess this one is not true to me, like personally to me, cause I normally don't get these. But when an Oreo has colored frosting, it is immediately better. Like, you know how like in Halloween, they'll put it like orange or Christmas, they'll put it like red? Ew. It tastes the same. Like it's still the, the white frosting, like it still tastes the same. I guess they really? just add food coloring, yeah. I've actually never tried those. Me either. I mean, I've tried the Christmas ones, the red ones. They look nasty, but like they don't even look like tempting. I, I tried them and I mean, they taste the same. But do they taste better? That's the question and I strongly disagree. I mean, personally, I can't really, I can't really put my input in that because I haven't tried this. I can't really say, yeah, it's better. Okay, well, I, I disagree, I disagree. Okay, this one goes up specifically to you because I don't know why, and it's more expensive. You go to Stripes, you could buy two Gatorades for like, 350 or something like that three bucks and i don't know what but the ones with the little sippy thingy it says gatorade is way better out of this bottle it's not yeah, it how because you literally don't have to put like i guess this is this is gonna make sound like really lazy but you literally have to put no effort into actually like i don't know putting your mouth on it like i don't know what it is it just tastes like a gem that's literally my go-to drink for everything. Yeah, I know, and it's more expensive. It's worth it. I disagree. I agree. She agrees, but I disagree, man. That, I mean, to me, Gatorade is Gatorade. Tastes good, cold, hot, I don't care. As long as it's after workout, I'll drink any kind of Gatorade. Even if it's hot? Yeah. Really? Now, now this one, Guys, I'm not spoiled. To me, personally, this one, if it is true, I mean, you're spoiled. To me, water is water, okay? Whether it's the sun or whether it's Fiji water, whether it's water from the Sahara Desert, wherever. I don't care, water from the Manguera, from the water hose, I don't care, faucet water. To me, it's all the same, but this one says, none of these bottled waters taste the same. It shows the Dasani smart water. Water does Evian, not taste the same. Aquafina, Fiji, 
Poland Spring. I've never heard of that one, but water does not taste. The same. It does taste the same. To me, water is water, and that's it. They have different tastes. When you're thirsty, water is water. Okay. Okay. When you're thirsty, yeah. But when you actually have different options in water, some do not taste the same. I don't go for options in the water. I go straight to the faucet because it's free and it's faster. Well, oh, it's free and faster. It's not purified. Okay, so I disagree with that one. I strongly disagree with that one. Honestly, I like when people are like, "No, I can't. That water's not filtered." I'll be like, I, it's, "Dude, it's come on, really? Just the air we breathe in is not clean." Cleaner than that water. You, Doesn't you matter. Know where, you know where that water comes from? I it's don't care. actually. I did my research yesterday because some water is not fully clean, and the the all the stuff that we do in the restroom goes back into the in the water. Reason why it's going into the sewer. All you do is just filter the water a little bit. Then it's. <laughs> water is water. That's it. Oh, yes. Okay, so I disagree with that. Number seven, pudding tastes better with a plastic spoon. I mean, I don't have pudding. I don't like eating pudding. So, what do you have to say? Since you're a chocolate lover. Mm. <laughs> oh, it does. Like it, it, it does make a difference. Like I don't know what it is. I think it's like the temperature in the spoon. What? <laughs> Well, she says it's true, I guess. I don't know. I've, I've had pudding like once, maybe. Spinach is a magician? Mmm. Okay. Cooking spinach on the stove. Mmm. Oh. Okay, well, it shows, a, it shows a tweet here by Mike, Mike Jin. Obviously, he puts a bunch. I mean, I've never cooked spinach. I, I legit just eat it raw. I don't care. You shouldn't, though. Huh? You shouldn't, though. Why? Because it doesn't do your body, like, as good if you don't want it. I can just eat it wrong like that. Whatever. Cause it got smaller. I don't know. I guess. Nine, every liquid is better out of a glass oh, bottle. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like more refreshing. Yeah, especially being like close to the border when we go to Mexico and they give us, I mean, everything over there tastes different. It really does. To, like starting with the water. <laughs> was, I, was, I, was I a bit of a hypocrite there? Okay. <laughs> It tastes different, but it tastes the same, whatever. Okay, yes. Everything tastes different in Mexico, okay? But like when you taste the, the, like the Fantas, the Cokes and all that stuff, it tastes so much better when it's in a glass bottle. Honestly, it does. It really, it's really, it, 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 it smacks. So I agree with that one. Cup wants to betray you. When gravity plays tricks on you, so you're, you're pouring something, you're gonna pour something and it pour, I mean, yeah. That's that's the biggest. That's one of my biggest fears when I'm pouring like pouring like boiling water from a from a from a pan to like a cup. Yeah. And then it comes and yeah. That one, that one sucks. I don't I don't really get how this one is uh. Related. Related to this. Yeah. This this is food. I, mac and cheese is better with shapes. I, I honestly as a kid I didn't get mac and cheese like in shapes. I don't know. What do you have to say? I didn't even know they had shapes. <laughs> we don't know much about this one. Let's go to the next one. Apples taste better in slices. Yeah, honestly, it, it does. Rather than just eating the apple just like that in your hand. I remember my grandma when I was small. When I was small, she would cut them into baby pieces, and I would finish like two apples. Honestly. I feel like the whole apple when you bite into it, it gets you all like. If it's real juicy, it gets you all dirty. Like, also, also, because of the, of the fact that the, the stuff in the middle, you don't like eating it, like the seeds and the all that stuff. Once you cut it into pieces, it doesn't have that. You can eat the whole apple and... Yeah, I agree with this one. I honestly do. These taste totally different. I've never had the one on the left. Or the one on the left. What is this? Fruit punch? I've never had that. Um. Skip. This is pure garbage. No, it's not. Honestly, th there's been times where I go to fundraisers and I help out with the bread and they all throw out this piece of bread. They all yeah. throw them out. They all put it like in a bag and I'll, ask, just... I'll ask for it. I'll legit be like, hey, that's a free loaf of bread right there. Like they, they, like two or three loaves of bread just of these. It's to, to me, bread is bread, honestly. Like I, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a spoiled person. And I mean, well, to me, I'm not, not spoiled. You're spoiled. But You're spoiled. I just don't like that it's, Unproportional, like 
It's not leveled as the other one, so it bothers me. You're spoiled. I'm not spoiled. You're spoiled. I just, I, I don't, it bothers me that it's like that you're spoiled. <laughs> you're spoiled? <laughs> okay, so I disagree with Don. That's a perfectly good piece of bread, alright? So it's, no. Mm. Yeah, this is true. Avocados last one, last one minute. Avocados be like, one o'clock, perfectly fine. One o'clock, perfectly fine. One o'clock, perfectly fine. 101 p.m. They're all messed up and moldy and stuff. That to me, that happens a lot. Cause like I love avocado, I really do. Honestly, it just like it grosses me out. Like once I see it turn black, me, really? I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm spoiled. Sorry, I am not gonna eat that if it's black. Sorry, For no, like, you're spoiled. I throw it away. You're I mean, I, I've tried. Like I'll try to take it off or whatever, but you're spoiled. Ugh. Spoiled. No. Nasty, like. And like, you're spoiled. No, but I don't like when that happens. Like, in the morning, I'll put in my eggs, and then at night, I want to with my chicken, and I see it's getting like kind of blackish. Sucks. But yeah, I agree with this one. Expensive food doesn't make any sense. Twelve dollar food versus two hundred dollar food. That's that's. We we're, we're actually talking about this. Not not so much that the expensive and inexpensive food doesn't make sense, but it's crazy and it's a bit sad that unhealthy food like McDonald's, Jack in the Box, you know, all the unhealthy food is very, very cheap. For a dollar, you can get like cheaper. a cheeseburger. That sounds good. <laughs> and then it's for something like, you know, like these, what these GC Fit meals have, like salmon and all, all those healthy greens that you need, $20 and above. It's crazy and it's sad, but that's just how life is, I guess. But yeah, expensive food really doesn't make any sense. I, to me, I tell everybody, do not ask me where I want to eat because I'll always say McDonald's. I'll always say Burger King. I'll always, I will never choose, an, you'll never see me choosing an expensive restaurant. And if I do, I always look for like the 20, the, the two for $20 menu or something like that. Like I- The, the Chili's menu? Yeah, like the Chili's menu that has two for, they changed it to two for 24, but still like I'm not, I'm not a type of person that'll go and ask for like a $100 steak. That's, that's just not me. And to me, I honestly don't taste the difference. I really don't. Food tastes better when it's not yours. <laughs> when you hold the McDonald's bag and you eat the fries out of everyone else's, then get home and take the one with the most fries. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Your food. By the time I get home, there's no more fries and I'm like, oh, those are my fries. But yeah. I'm food. guilty of that because I do, I do take away your food a lot. But I mean, it just tastes better than mine, so I have to take it. Yeah, food just tastes better when it's not yours. I love the holidays. I love them. I'm gonna do a lot more this Halloween, this Thanksgiving, and this Christmas. I'm gonna do a lot more vlogs. I'm gonna do a lot more fancy stuff. You know how I did like the ghillie soup prank and then the dry ice thingy and then the pumpkin carving. And I wanna do a lot more stuff, like baking stuff too. But these cookies taste way better than they should. Mm. These are amazing. I remember coming home at, in elementary school, because middle school didn't do it anymore. But elementary school, Everyone will buy those cookies. I'll have like a bunch in a Ziploc bag. I get home, put them away, go to sleep, wake up, and I already knew in the back of my head I had some cookies calling my name. They're really thick. They're like, oh, those sugar cookies. <laughs> those are way better than those. You think so? Yeah. After, to cookies? me, after once I eat one of those, like, yeah, I'm full already. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've eaten a whole box of them just like in a car seat. Gosh. Okay. Night number. Okay. So next one. I hate when this happens. Everyone has eaten paper, especially with the damn Starburst. And yeah, a lot of times, and I don't like it. Ever happen to you? Yeah. When, you, when, you're, when you're peeling the Starburst and you're trying to peel perfectly. I just get frustrated and I just. Yeah, you just, know, I just eat it. Yeah, you just eat it. Doesn't matter. But yeah, I agree with this one. This one sucks. I, I don't like it. String cheese is next level when peeled. Yeah. Is honestly, I don't like the chick though. She's wearing a Steelers shirt. But yeah, honestly. If you eat string cheese, just bite in it, you're a psychopath. I don't know why people do that, but you gotta, you gotta peel it to, to make it a string. It always hits differently when it's like that. All right, so next one. Candy corn is best in pumpkin form. I'm not a fan of candy corn. Never mind. There was a time when I was smaller and I ate a bunch and I threw them all up during oh. class. So then after that, like I've never, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, 
I don't mess with candy corns anymore. What about you? I mean, recently, I mean, with you and where you're doing the pumpkin carving. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't eat those candy corns. I used them for decoration. Okay, so this one, I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't, I can't say yes because I don't eat candy corns and I can't say no because I don't eat, I don't eat candy corns. Yeah. Slicing a sandwich makes it three times as delicious. Yeah, it really does. Especially when it's a grilled cheese like in this picture. But when you slice it diagonally. I like this, but when you slice it like that. You, you bite the corners and then you, in the middle it's like real, real cheesy. It's awesome when it's sliced diagonally though. It's been a while since I had a grilled cheese sandwich actually, but this one has to be, it, to, it's true. To me it's true. What about you? Yeah. Next one. <laughs> the word free food makes everything taste better. It's free. The samples. There's been times where I get full from samples because I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I eat all the samples and it tastes it honestly does taste way better. I like doing that with the cookie samples. No, the sushi samples. Yeah, like at HEB. Really? At HEB, at the HEB in Brownsville, they have like samples of sushi and I'll get like three. I don't know. The samples just, they I just hit differently. And then I get like the actual sushi of what I was eating of the sample. And then I eat it and it's just, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't really, it doesn't do it. Yeah. Free food. It's the word free. <laughs> you think you're like a freeloader or something? Huh? You're a freeloader or something? Is there, am I right or am I wrong? Every stuff that's free is better. Yeah. Free stuff is better. Free stuff is better. I have to agree with that one. There you go, guys. That is 23 food facts that are totally and undeniably true. I mean, some of them were true, but some of them were not. And some of them, I didn't even know. But most of them, they were, they, they were true. They honestly were. So smash that like button if you guys like this video. If you want me to do more videos just like this with Alexa, give a, a let's give a round of applause for Alexa. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Be let, be on the lookout for my next video. I'm actually going to be finishing camp in Brownsville. I'm gonna do one more sparring here in San Antonio. I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna spar one more time. And after that's pretty much it. It's just the last week, and then it's. Time for your boy to shine on August 24th, Fox Sports 1, Bird Ogden Arena, Edinburgh, Texas. If you haven't gotten, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, go to my Facebook. I've shared the link. I don't know how many times. I've shared the link. It's there. I think the cheapest, cheapest tickets are maybe 30 bucks. But if not, Monday, I'm going to be having a uh, media workout at Wynn Grill and Bar there in Brownsville, Texas. So if you guys are in Brownsville Monday, next Monday, which is the 19th. Monday the 19th, go to Win Grill and Bar, and they will be doing a giveaway there. I believe they're gonna be doing two tickets or something like that, and then I think someone else is doing a giveaway as well. But if not, go to my Facebook page, Omar El Relampago Juarez, and the link will be there. So click on it, buy the tickets, watch your boy go five and oh. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button. Shout out to Alexa. And as always, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and I'll catch you all in the next. Peace! Yeah, I'm in the water, but I landed in the boot. Yeah, hit it too hard.